name is Damien Perry and we're broadcasting live um, for The Unshackled. And we're currently here um, in the midst of the protests here at Martin Place. Uh, now we've got two different groups. We've got a uh, pro-Trump group and also a, uh, an anti-Trump group here. Uh, we've had his inauguration at 3am this morning, Australian time. And uh, we're currently just seeing what's uh, going to happen. We're going to have interviews a little bit later on. So I urge everybody to get on our website page on The Unshackled on Facebook and to uh, throughout this afternoon uh, check out the live feed, make sure that you stay up to date. So we've got a lot ahead, we've obviously got tough times ahead of us, so there's uh, definitely a lot in need, we have to get people together, make sure that people are united, and um, if you can see here, I'll just show you, at the moment um, we've got the pro-Trump group, they're all there. And if you um, actually videotape over on the stairs there, you've got the easy jump route. two groups in opposition here. It looks like there's going to be a big turnout. So, I mean, uh, we can only wait and see how it goes. happening here at the moment, <laughs> but um, just seeing <laughs> exclusively live here at the moment, over at Martin Place in Sydney. We've got the cops separating the two groups here, making sure nothing happens. They're backing away at the moment. It looks like that they're slowly walking off. And we'll continue to see what happens in the future. But uh, this is a, 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 very, a very important issue for democracy. And there's certain elements in society that just don't respect democracy, unfortunately. So um, we have to continue to make sure that people have their say, that they have freedom of speech, and uh, that we don't let uh, this Marxist totalitarian mentality continue to affect us as, uh, as human beings, because um, it's really just destroyed us. We've seen actually um, a lot of issues, like yesterday we saw a, um, uh, what well, the true news would call it a terrorist attack uh, in Melbourne, in the CBD. Now, uh, the fake news mainstream media will continue to say that it was just a, a lone wolf, but we know better than that. We know that there was elements of uh, extremism within that particular person that edged him to do that. He did say on his Facebook page that he was a, uh, uh, a Greek, Islamic, Kurdish, uh, angel of cult, whatever that means. So, I mean, this is just um, further... Just like in the ACL, Australian Christian Lobby attacks, what the authorities do, they try and make sure that uh, these people slide underneath the radar. We have to make sure that we are a voice, because if we don't say anything, as a true media says, then nobody will. Nobody's going to get the truth out of watching the ABC on TV. People have to 
and stay in tune to the Unshackled, to other websites such as XYZ, Ofcon News and many others. We have to make sure that we get a different voice, a different side of the story because we only ever get one side of the story. We have a lot of issues and we are going to continue to broadcast them live and we will get to you straight away when more action happens. As you can see, um, we have the, the pro-Trump group in the middle here. Um, there was an anti-Trump group over on the top of the stairs. They've uh, left, but we've also got um, more on the bottom here on the other side of the street. So um, we can see a sign there says Teachers for Refugees um, and a, a few other bits and pieces. Um, so we do have still uh, a different, uh, two groups still going out in here just to update everybody. Um, I mean, if only, if only people actually um, stood up for the Australian people rather than the refugees that came and uh, raped and pillaged. Um, we have children. Yeah, well, look at this. I mean, they've even got kids here. See, th this is what I mean. This is the this, this is the brainwashing that we're seeing here. They actually, I mean, if you see the pro-Trump group here, they're all adults, all old people, you know what I mean, doing their business. If you see on the other side of things, they've actually got children, little kids, holding placards. This is indoctrination, you know what I mean? Like, you just can't get any worse than that. There is a lot of, uh, a lot of issues that need to be spoken about. Uh, and there is obviously elements out there that want to silence certain uh, certain subjects, but uh, we have to continue to uh, make sure that it's well known what's going on, whether it be about uh, our immigration situation, whether it be about uh, uh, Marxism in our schools, um, continual degeneracy in public, and uh, all of the other elements, um, of course, um, people that are trying to uh, bring about a, a communist uh, style society. So, uh, definitely needs to be heard. But if we uh, scan across the two groups again, just to get a bit of an idea. We're just uh, we're just going to cross the road just to see what's happening on the other side, just to get a bit of a um, a bit of an opposing kind of uh, view there, just to see what's. Uh, Yeah, all right. Yeah, we've got more of it. 
Yes. All right. So um, we went down a little bit firmer. Um, as, it, as it stood up there, it was about a half-half, pretty even ratio. But uh, we went down firmer. And as you can see, there would have to be at least 100 of them there. So um, there definitely is a, a big divide here. Um, definitely outnumbered. And um, we have to get some interviews with uh, all different people later on to get a bit of a, a view as to what their sort of, uh, what their view is, what their mentality is. But um, what people have to understand is um, that the violence uh, comes from only one side here. See, I mean, one is just interested in, um, in having a, a freedom of speech, whereas the other one demonstrates that in a violent method. So, I mean, um, I personally and many others have already received threats on uh, social media from groups like Antifa and uh, among other uh, uh, extremist groups that really are terrorist organisations. So, I mean, um, there's definitely going to be a presence of people like that. And um, as to whether uh, things do get violent or not today, hopefully they don't, but it's all going to be all in their court because they're always the ones that uh, end up starting these, uh, these troubles. Because... Um, they don't believe in just a, a freedom of speech, but have to then push it more and make sure that their voice is heard through fists. As we can see, we've got a few more people coming over. Do you want to cross the road? Because I'm one step across the road. Do you want to? Yeah, right. But, but I'm just doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. but that's yeah. yeah. Just be careful, like, some sort of, yeah. Yeah. pass from over. What we're going to do at the moment is we're going to cross the road right in the midst of the opposition just uh, basically to see what's going on down there because there's a lot of noise, a lot of yelling and um, just pray to God that we don't get attacked. <laughs> but uh, we're going to take Facebook live right in the midst of the, the left wing. So let's see exactly what's going on down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, don't say anything.
Basically what we've done is we've come here in the midst of it um, to the uh, people that are uh, anti-Trump. Now, I initially thought there was about a hundred of them. It looks like there's more like a thousand of them. It's huge, absolutely huge. And um, the people doing their speeches are talking about the usual sort of nonsense. Um, so they were obviously um, talking about um, product reproductive rights, which means they were basically saying, you know, yeah, 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 till abortion, you know. Um, <laughs> these people, you know, and um, also by uh, talking about trans rights and uh, minority rights and, you know, better health care and all the sort of, you know, usual sort of crap that you get to hear. Um, so, basically that's in the midst of what it is. There's about a thousand of them. A lot of them are really young kids. Now, um, unfortunately, uh, there's a lot of indoctrination happening with all this, you know, I mean, and it's a big outnumbered force. To have this many people against democracy, it's very, very sad and it's very scary, very dangerous. So we will continue to bring up more. We're going to have interviews coming up soon and uh, keep up to date on our page and we'll continue to broadcast this live. See you then. <laughs>